just had the curried chicken at the curry truck. Fabulous. Nice and spicy. I love Indian food. You know, just a lovely, kind of a rich sauce, and the chicken's really tender, not dry at all. We've been a restaurant, we started on Wells and Lake, and we've been there for a little over a year now. And I started there just kind of like washing dishes a long time ago. I actually went to school for music. <laughs> and then uh, I, when I was in college, I got really into cooking. And um, so, you know, I worked there and worked my way up, and uh, eventually the truck was doing so well that they needed someone to kind of just only do the truck. You should see me parallel park this thing. I, I'm really good at it. Our most popular one would definitely be the sog paneer, which is spinach and cheese and like a creamy sauce, and the cheese is cubed and lightly fried, so it's caramelized, it's really good. Then if you want something spicy, we've got steak vindaloo, which is it's kind of tangy in a tomato and onion gravy with potatoes. And then we also have, uh, I mean my favorite, if someone wants something like really healthy, is the chana masala, which is chickpeas and a tomato gravy. I had the cheese sog, it was delicious. And I had the chicken with the rice, what was it called? Curry know. chicken with rice and it was really good. It's new and exciting and um, just the whole concept of mobile cuisine is just really fun. The cool thing is if there's like a bunch of food trucks, uh, you get such a selection and you can get like one small thing from each truck instead of just going to a restaurant and just being sold like all one kind of thing. And that's, you know, that's our best spots are the ones where there's just like tons of trucks so everyone gets a, you know, a big selection. So uh, any favorites that you've had here today? Yeah, I like the uh, the curry truck. That was, that was actually a surprise. I like that quite a bit. You like curry? Uh, not typically, but this was really spicy and it was really good. If they really crack down with those new fines, it would um, probably make a lot of trucks not be able to go out to certain spots. And it also depends on where they put the legal truck spots, because that's really big. And there's only two per spot, which makes it difficult, because anywhere we go and do well, there's at least like four or five trucks that attract people where they know we're going to be. So if they put them in good areas, um, it could you know, become much more robust and there could be many more trucks.